Miron, 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 welcome back. Clangers from every corner of the globe. You've joined another fantastic show. As you probably seen at the start, this is a holiday special. We've just we've jetted back from wee Bonnie Jockland. Um, so I thought I'd bring you a bit of a holiday special, as you may have already seen, Clangers. Fantastic, fantastic vacation for all the family. I'm sporting a bit of a tan, Clangers, as well. Must have caught the old sun in burning Scotland. Burning Scotland. Lovely, lovely vacation. Anyway, Clangers, without further ado, it may be a holiday special, but it's got a bit of a Scottish theme, but we've got plenty to get through. Another script as well, Clangers. Another script to help me along the way. To help me along the way. Anyway, I'm a bit warm in here, like. I've got a bit of a tan going on to get some of the old after sun on, I think, Clangers. Anyway, what do you think of the t-shirt, Clangers? The old king of fashion's back again. Atari. And I still haven't forgotten about um, Jace Karate's old video game hunt. You'd like to see an old video game put on. You don't, you don't argue with the sensei, do you? So if you ask, you just do it. So I'm looking for one. I am hunting down one as we speak. But as I said, most of my games are modern, so I, I'm, I'm having to hunt deep and hard. I might get an old retro console. If you've got any comments, any ideas of an old console that you think I should pick up and play again, Leave us a comment down below and I'll have a look for one. I'm looking, I was a little Commodore 64 man back in the day, so I might look at one of those. They're doing like these mini things, aren't they now? Could be another addition to the family, couldn't it? After like 9,000 other consoles got in the house already. It's like curries in here. Anyway, Clangers, I've got some good news to bring you. You'll be amazed. But the old football fridge has finally been sold to someone after all these months. That's why right. good things come to all those who wait. And that's the proof of the pudding clangers as you can see on the old iPad. Someone bought that for 40 notes. Now, it's a funny story behind that clangers, but I'll tell you anyway. I put that up actually higher when I went up and all the open, it wouldn't sell. So it was on for 24 99 so I put it for 40 quid and it sold. It sold clangers, someone bought it. So it's happy days all around, isn't it? They get the fridge. I've finally got the sale. So after fees, and everyone's a winner, aren't they? After fees and. Uh, Postage, uh, I gathered around. 20 quid! This is it, anyone can do this, Clangers. You know, buy some, sell it. You make a few quid, puts a few more tins of beans on the old plate, doesn't it? On the old table for the kiddies. And this is, I uh, must have some up with Germany, Clangers, because this is our buy to sell this week. Quite a nice shirt, that, isn't it? If you like footy shirts. And it's brand new with tags. That was bought locally for three English pounds. And that is hopefully going to make me a tidy little profit. Let's wait and see, Clangers. It's currently on eBay. I'll show you the listing just to bore you even further. Where are we, Clangers? That is currently for sale. Look at professional listings as well. You don't just get professional videos with Clangers, do you? You get professional eBay listings as well. I mean, this man's going from strength to strength. So I'll have to look up to make sure you can see that, Clangers. That's currently on sale. If you fancy buying it, leave me a comment down below. I'll sort your deal out, but it's currently for sale. That is the 2014 Germany football winning shirt, World Cup shirt, it's 24 99 But I can knock you a few quid off, Clangers. I can sign it for you as well, if you like. Permanent marker. One minute, Clangers, drink a your key. So much content, I'm rambling on again. I'm having to ramble on to get it all in. This show should have a Netflix, shouldn't it, really? The Clanger show. They've offered me it once a six figure sum, I turned it down, man. It wasn't time, but now I could do with the old bank balance topping up. So Netflix, if you're watching, give us a shout and I'll sort a deal out. We can have like a proper show. Fame at last. Right, let's have a look on here what we've got here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the event of the week, Clangers. This is actual event as well, before you say anything. So it is an event of the week. And it's the three, I've got to read it because it's quite a lot to get through on this, actually. It's a three-legged horse racing event. And it includes the, the annual Stump Cup. This is for the three-legged furry friends. I'll just show you, Clangers. Proof of the pudding, because you'll be thinking I'm going to talk a lot of rubbish. And this is actually proof that it has happened. Can you see that, Clangers? Another picture on the old line. Look at the poor little things, man. Getting raced around that track. Getting whipped to death to make sure it wins. And this is happening. Is there any pictures in there? There, there's another one behind it, look. Trying to catch it up. The three legs. They've got one leg to me. It must be going that fast. You can't tell. Um, 
yeah, that's actual a picture of the horse there as well that runs. Look at the state of that man. You don't want to race on that, would you? Should just put it to put it out of his misery, shouldn't it? Do you know what I mean, Clarence? But anyway, this does happen. Let me see where it's happening at. And Clarence, it happens at. Where is this at? Anyway. The stump includes the stump annual cup and it is £10 a ticket for the whole family. Grab a code on the way there. It's a bit of a track check out like this is happening in. Where have I put this? It is happening in. Air in Scotland. Scotland! Okay, I don't know. Yeah, it is. And it's £10 a ticket for the whole family. Last year, there's, there's a little story behind this as well, Clarence. Last year, star jockey Ben Dover. Grab the headlines for all the wrong reasons when he and horse were banned from the events. Bloody hell. The night before he was drinking heavily and fed the poor horse a huge bowl of Foster's Lager premium. The horse ended up completely legless. Oh dear. Dear oh dear. Sorry about the joke. Those companies this out on clangers. But that actually is part of the statement that was read from the three-legged horse racing event. And like I said, it's £10 a ticket. Grab an ice cream on the way there. You'll have fun for all the family now. That's end. I can chill out a little bit now. That's the event of the week. So get yourself along to that, Clangers. In Air in Scotland. If you Google where they are, you'll help these little poor horses out and the jockeys. Have a little bet. You might win. You might come back like a free day. Now we're looking at some three in one. Just in the reviews. That's why I'm rambling on. We've got some haggis. Can you see that, Clangers? This camera's a bit if weird, isn't it? I'm having to look up again. Sorry, unprofessional, because I'm making sure you can see what I am seeing. And it's not. Let's get some light on. Is that better? Haggis. Anyway, it's Haggis. It's made by Halls. So let's tuck in, Clangers. I got a bit of a taste for this when I was on my jobbles like. Not bad at all. Let's see if it lives up to the old Scottish Haggis. And wash down, Clangers. Second review with a can of Iron Brew. <laughs> made in Scotland from Gurgis. I believe. Bit of salt. Apparently the Scots told me to put a bit of the old brun sauce on. Can't go without it. Hubbard's brown sauce. Oh, I haven't got a fork after you got to excuse the old fingers clangers. And there's the old haggis look in all its glory. Mm. Well, that's not a planger. Crunchy, something like that. It's not the plan. Mm. It's a weird taste, is that? It's, if you haven't tried it, you need to try a bit of that. Better in Scotland, though. I was sat with Braveheart's uncle, me and him, you know what I mean, sat there in kilts, drinking lagers. And he, he cooked me up a bit like it was quite nice. It's a man food, that, isn't it? You know, well, women food, if you like. Got whistles and a beard, you know. Let's try the old iron brew. Oh, that's not so keen on that, like, like that's, that's a weird one, is that? I was never a big fan, but I was more of a fan of Tizer. Iron brew. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to have a cup of Yorkie as well, because this is Clangers, the last of the three Scottish themed reviews brought all the way back from Jockland. And that is Campbell's proper shortbreads. I know this is going to be good, like. I know you can get these over here, but they're not the same, man. It's like Guinness in Ireland. Good for dieting, like. It says on them. Campbell's Scottish shortbread fingers only for fatties. 760 calories per biscuit per shortbread finger. Brace yourself. For a shirt button busting delight. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? I'm trying to lose weight, Clangers. Anyway, anyway, let go. Let me have a drink of Yorkie with this. That's essential, isn't it? It's got to be dipped in Yorkie, haven't it? Here goes, Clangers. Mmm. I'll tell you what. I'll leave that. But. If you're in, obviously going to the three-legged horse race event. Nip into, nip into Seaton Sands, where we went, near Edinburgh, and get yourself a packet of Campbell's shortbreads. You might get fat, but you'll get fat and you'll be happy, do you know what I mean? That is nice, that. How can I review this? this? That haggis wasn't as good as the real McCoy. I was 
scoffing with brave arts uncle not as good that's i'll give that one but normally i'll, I'll review haggis as what i tasted on my vacation and that was a strong eight out of ten a little tip if you don't read what's in it if you don't read what's in it you'll like it that was a eight out of ten for haggis that one's english not as good i am brew not so, not so keen to be fair that's a bit of a clanger i'll give that a three out of ten something i wouldn't it's no dr pepper is that like clangers three out of ten it's unique it's you can tell it's made out of girders i would make pop out of metal leave us a comment down below if you know that clangers it's a weird one isn't it apparently they squeeze the they're that hard they squeeze the juice out of the old girders like and it tips into cans but hard to believe campbell's shortbread biscuits worth the trip alone i'm only looking at 200 mile climbing that's what you're moaning about and um i'd give them a strong nine out of ten not a clanger not a clanger a nice delight with a cup of yorkie what more do you want clangers and yes and thanks again for tuning in to this world-renowned show you've got the what did you get you got the sale finally come up trumps to try and make me a million take this off now clangers you had the Germany shirt. I'm thinking about Germany shirts, aren't I? The Deutschland stuff. German name must be. It must be. It must, it must draw me into to buying them. You've got a Germany shirt that might come up good for the next show, Clangers. You've got the Haggis that was not as good as the real McCoy, but not bad. The Iron Brew. God, how much content do you have to put in your video? Three out of ten. I'm not a big fan of Gerda drink. I must have it. And you've got the Campbell's shortbread delights. You'll get your fat but you'll have fun doing it. And that's it for me, Clangers, for the holiday special. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have made it. Thanks for joining in. Please like and subscribe. Get some more people in. We need some more gatherings. Tell everybody about it. Like and share it and subscribe it. And do whatever you want and leave us some comments. Let us know what you'd like for me to tickle on next. I'll get my hands on it. Some retro food that's come back out. But this has been me. It's me over and out. I'm off to go and eat another three boxes of shortbreads. Peace. <laughs>